Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video on Jetpack Compose and in this video we will continue to explore the concept of side effects with composables. Before actually getting into the real subject, let me show you a demo. This is the same old code base of the counter. Only the thing is I have slightly modified it. Just have a look at what's happening. The application gets started, the counter gets triggered. So I am definitely using the launched effect and then it stops. And not only that, other than the old counter value rendering, I am here now displaying the message as the counter increases. So let me show you once again. Initially, the message is counter has not yet started yet for two seconds. And then the counter increases, the counter value is shown. And then finally, the counter stops. And that's when the toast appears with the message. Let's understand how these two composables are arranged. If you just go here, this is my main composable screen. And then most of the code is pretty old. There is no major difference. The only new difference is this new composable that is counter message that corresponds to this text that you are seeing here is separate composable. Earlier it was all part of this one single composable and I have basically put it as a separate composable. So far nothing looks unusual. It is a pretty simple application but let's look at the locket. In the locket, if you observe, this custom composable keeps showing the counter message. What is counter message? Counter message is the state that is being passed from the parent composable. The parent composable is your main screen and here I have this counter message and that counter message is being passed to composable. So far, nothing looks unusual as the counter increases it keeps on increasing and initially when it gets started it gets started with counter not yet started because that's the message that you see here and then starting counter counter value increases and then after 9 suddenly instead of simply seeing counter value 10 and rendering the counter message with increased value 10 this looks very suspicious counter ended with counter not yet started the counter has already started we should not have seen this particular message. Visually, this is not clear at all because it happens so quickly, we are basically not able to see this visually. But when you pay attention to the lock cat, you can actually see that just before the counter message gets initialized to whatever the value we want it to be initialized to, it suddenly gets into a wrong state. Now, why is this happening? So let's try to understand this. So what exactly is happening there is you have a composable and that composable is a part of another outer composable. So let's call the first composable as child composable and the outer composable as parent composable. Parent composable has a state and child composable has a copy of that particular state. So in a way, the state that is there in the parent composable is the original state and the state that is there in the child composable is reference to the original state because it is being passed as a function parameter to the child composable. Now, the state in the child composable changes then because it is a parent composable reference, so it needs to be modified there. And once it gets modified there, it gets once again passed down to the child composable. Ideally speaking, this should happen in a very seamless fashion. That is, it should be always in sync. But as you saw in the locket, sometimes this sync might not happen properly between the parent and the child state. So how do we prevent this from happening? That is the crux of the question. That is where remember updated state side effect comes into picture. We will use this to basically solve the problem that we saw just a moment back. So let's get into a demo. So what we will do is we'll come down to the counter message and here instead of directly using this counter message here in the body of the function what we will do is we will create a counter 
message latest and we will use by remember updated state and then pass the counter message and here now we will use counter message latest instead of the counter message itself that's it nothing more than this and now what we will do is we will restart our application let me go to the locket things seems to be going fine it's perfectly ends with the value 10 we did not see a anomaly that we saw earlier in our applications locket where it was getting initialized to the initial value which was counter not yet started that message we are not seeing here when the counter reaches the end so now the state is in perfect sync between the parent and the child composable so that exactly is the usage of remember updated state you basically use it to make sure that your composable has the latest updated state available to avoid this stale value rendering this is very useful when you are dealing with a very fast data updation and you want to ensure that always the latest information is getting rendered on the screen not some stale information that is when you use this especially when there is a hierarchy of composables so that's it in this video stay tuned for the another side effect in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye